Hey, just squad, welcome back to Minnesota. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool image around here. And basically what this is, is a non-stick pot that also has like a honeycomb design that's on here. If you can see the one that we got right here from this brand, and the bottom right here, they do probably got some specs and features on here. And if you guys noticed for the one that we got right here is a 2.5 quart. They do have this available in a bigger or smaller size. So you definitely want to do your own research to see how big or how small you guys need. But first, I'm going to open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, here's what actually looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So really cool how they do probably got a little bag to store the actual pot inside right here. But let's take off the bag first. All right, so once you guys take it out, if you see how the inside is all nicely wrapped up as well, but let's take off all the wrappers. So first thing right here, you can see we do have the lid. And the lid right here, they do give you guys a very nice handle. And for this part right here, it is glass. It is in here. And right here on top, we do have the hole for the steam to come out. And then here is basically what the inside looks like. So that is basically what the lid looks like. Next up right here, we do have the pot. And inside, they do probably guys instruction to teach you guys how to maintain the pot at. And right here, they do have like a little user manual to teach you guys how to use it. But once you guys take out the wrapper, here is basically what the pot looks like. So in front part right here, we do have the brand logo. And right here, we do have a handle that I believe is a cool touch handle. And you see on top right here, they do have a little hole where there's a hang somewhere if you guys do want to. But you see the inside right here, they definitely have a non-stick coating inside with the honeycomb design. So that way it can help you guys prolong the life of the non-stick coating and protect as well. So regardless if you guys use like metal utensils, wooden utensils, or even silicone utensils, it doesn't matter which one is used. All of them are fine to use it for the pot. So definitely do have like the honeycomb throughout the actual pot in the inside and the side right here. So that is basically what the inside looks like. And then here is basically what the bottom part looks like. And then for this pot, it is oven safe and also dishwasher safe as well. If you guys put the lid on top, here is basically what the final pot looks like with the lid on top. If you see, it definitely looks pretty nice once you guys do put the lid together. So that is basically everything that's on the pot. Let me actually go test this out to show you guys how it works and what actually works first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. First thing I'm going to do is actually wash the actual pot and the lid first to make sure everything is clean before I use it. So let's do that first. Alright, so now for the pot. And the cool thing about the fact that how it does have the honeycomb design inside, it doesn't matter which side the sponge is used to clean it because it will not scratch the pot. All right, so that should be good. Now let's test it out to see how it works. Here is basically what the pot looks like once you guys do put the lid on top. But let's turn on the fire and test it out to show you guys how well it works. So like I mentioned for the pot, when you guys do use it, you do have the option to use like wooden utensils, metal utensil or even silicone utensil but for this test i'm using this utensil that we have right here because i feel like this one works a lot better for this kind of pot or this kind of material where it's like the honeycomb design now let's crack the egg on top and then we'll show you guys what the inside looks like all right so here is basically what the inside of the pot looks like when you guys do crack the egg on top and what i do recommend is that when you guys do turn on the fire you do want to turn on low and medium heat so that way it won't burn your egg or burn anything inside but it's looking good so let's try to flip it So obviously, since we do have a small pot, it's harder for you guys to use something this big. But it still works if you guys can see. And if you guys can see how when we're scraping the bottom part, it comes out so easily. So if you guys do plan on using a utensil this big, you probably want to use like a bigger uh, pan or frying pan option. Because this one's pretty small. So once you guys are ready to scoop it up, just go like this really easily. And everything just slides off so easily. And if you guys want to definitely scrape everything inside to come out really easy as well. But we see the pot definitely does work and it is super easy to use it. Welcome back guys. So now it's a quick test of the pot and definitely actually does work, actually works quite well. And if you can see when you guys do use the pot, it doesn't stick at all. Maybe it stick a little bit, but when you guys use your utensil to kind of scrape it off, it comes out so easily because of that non-stick coating that's on here. And then obviously if it's the first time using the pot, you do want to hand wash it with some warm water and some soap first to make sure it's clean before you guys actually use it. So whether if you guys want to fry stuff in here, or if you guys want to saute stuff in here, or even if you guys want to stir fry stuff in here, however you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the pattern. Now that we come boxing and testing pattern, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth it or not. So for this pot, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality non-stick pot that also give you guys like that honeycomb design. That's basically like a much more affordable option compared to the Hex Clap brand that I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. Yeah! 
But then obviously if those guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.